Okay, hello and welcome. Uh, I am going to spend five minutes and show a quick hand where the opponent's contract was doubled. And we will discuss uh, a little bit thoughts about doubling contracts, uh, see how, uh, what happened, whether that was a good decision, and uh, how that worked out. So let's jump right in. We have North as the dealer. You can see the bidding sequence up here in the upper right. North opened one spade. East passed. And South supported North with seven high card points, three spades, uh, by making a two spade bid. A uh, two spade bid should indicate a minimum responding hand, a six to 10 point responding hand. And we come around to my hand where I show where I have 10, 16, 17 high card points and at least three cards in every suit other than spades. So I make a takeout double. Takeout double asks opponent, asks partner to bid their longest suit, unless of course, somebody bids first, and which North does. So North jumps right to four spades. Um, not a good bid in my opinion. Uh, what we have here is seven, eight, nine high card points, plus a singleton king. So really, that singleton king is very, very weak and almost worth questioning whether or not you should open the one spade at all. But it's good to be, be a little aggressive sometimes. Um, however, at this point, a po your partner has shown six to ten high card points, and your singleton king really isn't worth three. It's really just worth whatever a singleton is worth, right? Uh, nobody's mentioned clubs in your partnership, and it's likely that king's going down. So really, how should you count this? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven high card points. Ten, eleven plus ten at the best from partner is twenty-one, well short of the twenty-five needed for game. However, game was bid. Uh, my partner passes, South passes game uh, bid, and now we come to me. So I've got still 17 high card points, and uh, there's only 40 total high card points in the deck. All right, so 40 minus 17 is 23. I know, at least in terms of high points, this partnership does not have enough points. What about their distribution? Well, I look at my hand, and my distribution's pretty pretty flat, 4, 4, 3, 2, so I can kind of assume their distribution's going to be reasonably flat as well. Certainly holds true in the case of South, a little bit of North. Clearly, East and North have split up the clubs pretty well. Uh, but besides that, uh, my assumption's not too far off. What that means is that I'm going to get, what, one, two, three tricks at least. Um, so should I double? Well, maybe I can take them down one. They are vulnerable, right? There's an adage in bridge that says don't double something taken down when you take them down in one. Don't double if you can only set them by one trick. But, you know, I went for it anyway, right? double and so now we um, end up with play uh, my partner uh, I get very lucky my partner leads a nine of hearts and look where that king is the king is before my ace and queen I'm counting one two three four uh, maybe more if I get lucky tricks um, north ducks queen takes it Right, and what do I play now? Let's find out how good those diamonds are gonna go. One diamond, two diamonds, right? What do we do now? Uh, do we risk throwing a third diamond or do we grab that ace if we can? Let's grab that ace if we can. I mean, yeah, it sets up the king. Maybe not the best play. Um, well, let's do what we can, right? Uh, what do I do now? Let's do this. There we go. Diamond. 
And now I know, right, that's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 diamonds have been played. 12, 13. So I know that jack is good. It's going to beat the 10, right? I know that my partner might be able to over rough uh, north. So it would have been better to do the heart here maybe, but um, yeah, would have been better, right? Because I would have definitely gotten a free rough out of that. But hindsight, I play the diamond, north roughs high, south discards another club, and the 10 falls, All right? Uh, first thing north does is draw spades, draws trump, so we see that nine trump have been played, 10, 11, 12 trump have been played, there is only one more trump in the north, and takes the king, All right? And here we still have good distribution. Well, we don't have good distribution, but here this king is not any good. Uh, what do we got here? The jack. Oh, well, okay, we won it in hand, so we only have the club to lead. So might have been... Uh, hmm. And the king falls to the ace, right? So there's the penalty for counting a singleton king as worth something. Uh, another 10, another, looks like the rest of the tricks belong to north, down three, all right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six tricks we took, yep, yeah. in east, west, and seven, eight, nine, ten, down three, we get 800 points for them being doubled and vulnerable. Personally, I think it was a bit of a risky double with only two spades, um, but it counted out well, and, you know, right, we really were rewarded for taking the risk in this case. Uh, there's a little bit of thoughts about an obvious double. Most of them won't be quite so clear-cut as that, um, but, um, yeah, I thought that was a good double in the end. Thank you very much. Hope this was helpful.